Hey guys, this is Animat, and it's time once again that we find out what's in the box. Okay, so for the first time in what's in the box, I'm going to try out a brand new format. And the reason why I want to do this is that I want to try an alternative option instead of giving you guys like uh, monthly hour videos of me opening letters and packages. So for this video, I'm only going to be opening letters from you guys. If you guys want to try to figure out what did I get with all these things, like this giant pile of packages, well, you have to go and check out the other videos. So. With this one, I'm just going to take my time to focus on reading your letters and like, you know, just like answering your questions and stuff like that. Well, if you also wrote down questions. So anyways, let's get things started and look into the first one, which will come from Benny. Alright, so, a recurring guest pretty much. And uh, by the way, I also would like to mention that uh, this is going to be a special episode like this is gonna be all the Christmas re residues. Like, for those that didn't make it on the Christmas episode of What's in the Box, well, the rest have pretty much arrived. Hey there, Animat. Here's another one of my sendings. Just wanna say sorry about the Marcel card. It was just one of those ideas. Ah, well, at least you tried. Uh, anyways, here's a question for you. Uh, do you participate in the Muppet Live tweets they have during the new Muppet episodes? and sometimes on Thursdays. Uh, I do and so far I got responses from Sam the Eagle, Statler and Waldorf, Gonzo, uh, Uncle Deadly, and the big, and the big man, uh, Carl Shim? Oh, oh, and big mean Carl, oh, and big mean Carl, okay. I got three responses from including one that might hint that we'll meet his sister in an upcoming episode. Enjoy the pictures and card, Benny. P.S. Uh, in Merlin, one of your... Oh, is Merlin one of your favorite Disney characters? Uh, if Merlin is one of your favorite Disney characters, then you should definitely play uh, the game on your next Disney trip, if you have already. And uh, as he's one of the main characters, helping you wh wherever he can. Okay, so to answer your questions, actually, no, I don't really participate during the Muppet tweets. Like, when I, like funny enough, in Canada... It actually airs during a different time uh, instead of the usual like ABC uh, like airings and stuff like that. We still get ABC, but we actually managed to get it before it, so it kind of seems like out of place. Like if I if, if I start watching the Muppet episodes and then like I would go and tweet like with the Muppets and stuff like that. Maybe I'll try like just for the fun of it. No, like maybe I will. As for the. Um, for the uh, like uh, kings, uh, like the uh, the sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom game, I'll definitely try it out. Maybe. Oh, and also we got uh, we got Kermit dressed up like me. Hold on, it's never easy figuring out like if you guys can see it. Usually they end up good. So yeah, here's here's Kermit dressed up like me. And also we actually got some more sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards, and this time we actually got uh, we got King Triton's. We got King Triton's Trident. We got Nibs Neverland Assault. So, like, the Lost Boys are pretty much ready to strike. We got... This is a card? Okay, apparently we got <laughs> Lightning McQueen's Kachow. What the fridge are you talking about? Uh, and then we got Bolt's Super Bark. I still have yet to see Bolt, actually. So, uh, like, I heard it's good. So, we'll see. Uh, we got... Uh, Pongo's Soup Bucket, so the one thing that turns him into a black lab. Uh, we got Baloo, uh, Baloo's Coconut Cascade, and finally, oh, that's actually pretty cool, actually. This is pro probably one of the best ones in the pack. Uh, we got the Woozle's Woozle Nightmare. This is actually pretty cool, and I can see this as a legit card. So yeah, thank you, Benny. These are actually more, these are actually pretty cool. And I noticed they're, they're in pretty good condition with these ones. So definitely, thank you so much for the cards. And uh, thank you for writing me again. All right, so next one we got is from Michael Johns. And uh, season's greetings from the south of your uh, Whittle Wink, of your Whittle Winky? Season's greetings from the south of your Whittle Winky. What? Hi, 
Animat, it's me again. I was very appreciated you got my letter. Hope you have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays so far. And I can tell you, indeed I have. Um, I've placed some drawings I made with the letter as a Christmas gift from me to you. It's my letter, uh, if my letter reached you days after Christmas, well, consider it a, le a Christmas gift, okay? Thanks. Uh, from Michael Johns. P.S. Try not getting caught in line with, uh, try not getting in lines on Boxing Day, alright? Actually, I don't do Boxing Day. Uh, my Christmas parties actually last several days since I stay with my family, so. Uh, so, okay, so with this one, we got a sleep, we got a sleepwalking Oswald. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, we got, yeah, we got an angry Oswald with a decapitated Marcel. Yeesh. <laughs> like, I, I just opened this up and it's like, that's brutal. Fudge and ab. Alright, so thank you very much, Michael. Okay, so nice drawings, I gotta say. Nice drawings. Okay, so, uh, next one we got from, uh, uh, Gresham Inc. Okay. Dear Animat, I'm Caden Gresham from Gresham Inc., the YouTube channel. Ah, okay. Uh, I am going to be an animator and opening up a new animation studio called Gresham Inc. Animation Studios for a bunch of years. Oh, for a bunch of years. Okay. I am a fan of your videos like Animat's Reviews, Inside Out, Animation Look Back, Walt Disney, Pixar, and Studio Ghibli. By the way, I drew a picture of you with Mario and Luigi from the anime film. Uh, a few Pokemon cards for for yours truly, Caden Gresham. All right, so let's see what we got right here. So I guess this is a drawing. Oh, well, what do you know? It's not too bad. It has a little hint of like Family Guy in there, but I gotta say it's not bad. Uh, like I won't criticize about the color choices because like he did say it's from the anime film and. Like, I, I guess it was during the period where Nintendo had no clue what color choices would they do with Luigi, so... So, yeah, alright, that's, uh, pretty cool. Alright, so, as for the Pokemon cards, and from what I've noticed, my god, these are, like, the legit old ones. Like, these were the ones from my childhood. So, like, we got Farfetch'd. Farfetch'd! And then we got Bellsprout. Uh, we got Unhuthut. So, maybe the only one from, uh, Gen 2. Uh, we got a Mankey, then we got a Slowbro, uh, we got Rapidash, and finally we got Metapod. Uh, so th that's actually pretty cool. We got some Blast from the Past cards, but uh, yeah, definitely thanks, dude. This is actually pretty pretty cool, and uh, who knows? Maybe we'll soon see uh, what uh, Gresham Inc. Animation Studios has in store. So next up we got from Brian Walsh, and yep, yeah, this is a Christmas card. Oh boy. Ha! Okay, this is actually really... This is cute. Look at this. Okay, this is actually really funny. <laughs> I like this. Frosty, no! Oh, wow. Oh, well, look at this. Warmest Christmas wishes. Uh, here's another year of animated craziness and fun. Your friend, Brian. Ha! And look at this. He actually sent me some amiibo, uh, some amiibo Animal Crossing cards. I don't, honestly, I don't really play Animal Crossing, but cool, okay. Oh, and by the way, just a little heads up, uh, I actually finished my collection of Amiibos for now, uh, for now. Like, I actually managed to get every single one that I wanted, thanks to online shopping. And, um, actually, the funny thing is, is that now the only ones that I would need now are the upcoming ones. So, at least I finally got that collection complete. Oh, but let's see what we got here in terms of Amiibo cards. Let's see if... I don't know anything about the amiibo cards, so yeah, I got I got Cole, I got Eugene, then I got uh oh, Fudge, hold on. I got Pudge, I got Puck, then I got Perita, and I got ooh, a shiny Timmy. So I guess this is the rare one. So yeah, definitely. Um let me know if I got some really like you guys tell me if I got some really good cards here, or maybe if, like, Timmy is a really valuable one. So, yeah, definitely, definitely thank you so much for the uh, Amiibo cards, Brian. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, next one is gonna be, holy crap. 
<laughs> Apparently, like, he, I, he wrote every, whoops, uh, well, like, the dude wrote, like, everything on this, like, <laughs> like, just to make sure everything is placed in here. Uh, and he, and it says, do you like Shark Tale? No, not really. <laughs> uh, dear Animat, you're one of the best YouTubers ever. Who is your favorite character in Kung Fu Panda and How to Train Your Dragon? I would say my favorite character in Kung Fu Panda, hands down, Mr. Ping. Yeah, sure, he's not one of the Kung Fu masters, but my god, he has a lot of heart and a lot of humor. De he definitely makes uh, the movie in there, and I cannot wait to see him in Kung Fu Panda 3. Uh, as for How to Train Your Dragon, um, uh, I don't know. I would probably go with the maybe Toothless, but that's, that's a cheap one, so... Maybe I'd go with, maybe Stoic? I don't know, I never really thought of that. Uh, are you excited for Madagascar 4 and other DreamWorks films? Well, I am curious and pretty intrigued to see what DreamWorks has in store. As for Madagascar 4, honestly, no. I don't really, honestly, as a Madagascar fan myself and after what I've seen with Madagascar 3, they should not continue the franchise. The ending in Madagascar 3 is a perfect conclusion to the Madagascar films they don't need to make anymore. Merry Christmas and Happy New 2016 year. Uh, do you like Ninja Turtles? Eh, not, like, I don't know. I don't really watch the turtles, to be honest. All right, so anyways, uh, thank you so much, dude. Thanks for reading, thanks for uh, giving me the letter. All right, so next up, we got uh, Kartha, well, no, I don't think that's the address. Anyways, uh, what are your thoughts on Norm of the North? Ho, 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 ho. I think at this point I released my review. Go see it. You'll find out. Ah, here is a letter. Okay, and uh, while you're reading this, I have no idea what's going on in here. Okay, anyways. Hi, Animat. It's Bruno again. Do you remember me? I made you that Oogie Loves comic. This time I made you crap, crap at toy. Uh, I hope you like it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, there's, uh, okay, this is Crap Pat Toying, but I was confused because there was also, hold on, there was also this one as well. Uh, yours truly, Bruno. So, holy crap, so yeah. So I got another entire, so I got an, an entire, like, two-part comic. Oh no, is it just, oh no, this is a, oh, this is coming soon. Okay, this is, co okay, this is coming soon, okay. So this is pretty much an entire comic based on based on the the experience that I had to go through with Ratatouille. So is it any good? Praise Heisley! Anyways, okay, so thank you very much for the comic, Brutal. I'll, de I'll definitely give some time to read this. So anyways, uh, moving along now. Uh, this is gonna come from Mercy Sanders. Uh, dear Animat, my name is Mercy Sanders, and I like to draw and watch cartoons and Disney animation. My first time watching your videos was the top 10 scariest Disney moments, and I got my own YouTube channel, which, which is Lassie12, on my last year birthday, and I subscribed to you. And now I'd like to ask you a few questions. Uh, one, how did you get started? Well, funny enough, I just did. Like, if you want to start, if you want to start a YouTube channel and start making videos, just start. Like, uh, nowadays it's actually really easy for, for anyone to get, like, a camera, a microphone, and stuff like that. Like, just, that, that's the thing. How do you start? Just start. Um, uh, have you ever heard of The Lion Guard or watched it? Actually, no. The Lion Guard doesn't seem to really interest me that much. Uh, have you ever went to Disney World or Disneyland? I've never went to Disneyland, actually. But I have went to Walt Disney World several times, and I went to Disneyland Paris once. So that was, and like, those were some of the best moments of my life. I love going there every time. It's always literally a magical moment. So, uh, have a nice new year. Sincerely, Mercy. And she even included some, uh, some Disney stickers. So we got of the, uh, I believe it's the Fab Five it's called. So we got Mickey, Goofy, Donald, Pluto, and Minnie. So... Definitely think. All right, so let's see what you got for me, Mercy. Uh, let's see now. We got. Woo! Oh wow, this is from a while ago. All right, this is actually pretty nice. It's actually a pretty. I gotta admit, this is a really nice drawing of Simba. That's actually pretty good. So, 
definitely keep it up. Yeah, keep it up, Mercy. Keep it up. This is actually really nice. You know, I, I like to see you more do do more of these. So thank you very much, Mercy. All right. So the next up we got is going to be coming from Justin Kennan. So let's see what, or I think it's Justin McKennan. I don't know. That's what it says in the sticker. So I, I, I never know with these things. Oh, another Christmas card. And it's with Santa. And it's with Santa. Oh, well, that's pleasant. Okay. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from G1P2K. P.S. Enjoy the stamps. Enjoy the stamps. Whoops. I didn't even check. <laughs> okay, I kind of destroyed some of the stamps, but like the stamps include Rudolph and uh, Charlie Brown. So, okay, that's pretty nice. All right. Thank you very much, uh, G1 uh, G1P2K. <laughs> I just need to double check. Actually, nah, I, I got to prominently feature both. I can't cover that frosty thing. It's too hilarious too. Anyways, next up, we got Daniel Clich uh, Dylan Cliche, actually, so... Dear Animat, here are my questions for this episode. Will you please do an Animat Watches for the Cloudy Films? If no, why not? No! Absolutely not! I've already suffered through them. I, I don't need to do them again. I've already seen Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs twice. One to prepare myself for the... For the... For Cloudy 2, and another time for the review itself. And Cloudy 2, I'm never going there freaking again. No, absolutely not. Which animated sequel is really better? The Rescuers Down Under or Kung Fu Panda 2? You know, I'll be very honest. Even though I have recently seen The Rescuers Down Under, uh, it's been a while since I've seen Kung Fu Panda 2. But uh, I definitely will get back into it since like Kung Fu Panda 3 is coming out. So like I, I, I'm planning to rewatch both Kung Fu Panda 1 and 2 to prepare myself for the third one. So maybe I'll answer it later. Anyways, uh, what's your least favorite DreamWorks film? Shark Tale? <laughs> That's easy, Shark Tale. People are concerned about me and Shark Tale for some reason. Uh, do you really hate My Neighbor Totoro? No! No, like this is a misconception that everyone, everybody has for some reason. I don't hate it. Like, I don't, it's just that I don't think it's really Miyazaki's best. Maybe, I, I just believe it's a little too overhyped. Like, I, I prefer much more like Howl's Moving Castle and Spirited Away and stuff like that. But I'm never going to say that My Neighbor Totoro is a bad film. Like, I understand why a lot of people love it. Sure, uh, Satsuke and Mei get on my nerves, but it doesn't make it a bad film. And I do understand what they're going with it. No, I don't hate My Neighbor Totoro. You know, it's just like, you know, it, it's one of those movies that... I, I'm not really fond of that everybody else likes. I don't hate My Neighbor Totoro. I don't think it's a bad film. But anyways, uh, thank you for your answers. Your fan, Dylan Cliche. Uh, P.S. Which film do you think will be better? Kung Fu Panda 3 or Moana? That I cannot answer. The only answer I have is just we'll wait and see. And we're going to wait a long time considering Moana is going to be like the end of the year. So this one is going to be coming from Steph Felton from the UK. Oh, it's always a lovely holiday with Steffi. Dear Matt, thanks for opening my letter last month, and I'm really glad you liked your scarf. Uh, the only reason it was a bit short was because I wanted to make uh, I wanted to make sure it, it gets it to you for Christmas instead of you waiting till January. Well, either way, like I would have gotten it, uh, but I can make it longer if you so wish to. It's honestly your choice. That, like, if you want to make another scarf that's longer, that's your decision. I'll leave it up to you. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the uh, accidental perfume smell on there as well. It makes a nice touch to the new old lady, lol. Uh, I'm hoping to start pledging on your Patreon soon once I've got... Uh, once I've sorted out some bits. Ooh, that's actually nice. Uh, I'm hoping to start pledging $50 a month so I can meet you and the other cool dudes as well. Unfortunately, I haven't been to uh, crochet you something because I've been very busy and I ran out of ideas. Steph, it's okay. You don't have to crochet me something every time. It's fine. I'm glad that you wrote me a letter. So you don't have to really go all out and pay and like crochet something for me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I have some more questions for you. 
Uh, do you drive? Well, yes, I just don't have a car yet. Uh, what do you hope to achieve in 2016? Uh, honestly, what I hope to achieve in 2016, 50,000, uh, 50,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel and try to jumpstart a voiceover career. Well, like, at least try to get it started. Uh, are you hoping Cupid will aim your arrow in your direction? Uh, you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. Well, I mean, everybody would love to have some love someday, so... Uh, absolutely. I'm waiting. I've been waiting for years to, like, you know, for that to actually happen. Uh, do Canadians apologize as much as English? You have no idea. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you honestly have no idea, actually. That's a stereotype that's pretty accurate. Uh, anyways, got to go. Uh, got to go now. Thanks for making my day once again. Uh, stay dramatic, lots of love, Steph. P.S. I do believe I gave you a kiss in my Christmas card, love. Yes, of course. I remember that Christmas card. You did give me a kiss. <laughs> Alright, so that's a very lovely letter, Steph. I truly appreciate that one. Alright, and, uh, this one is gonna be coming from Hunter O. Laughlin. So, let's see what he has. Uh, dear Animat, yes, the drawing I sent you is of you as the Grinch, but it is not just a drawing of you as the Grinch, it is a drawing of you as the Grinch stealing all the Claudia with a chance of Beatballs DVDs for Christmas, because I know how much you hate those movies. Well, to be fair, like, did anybody get Claudia with a chance of Meatballs for Christmas? I mean, it's like one of those throwaway gifts nowadays. Like, even now, uh, the most common place I would find any DVD of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs is just on the $5 bins at Walmart. I mean, like, they're, they're trying to get rid of it, but it's, like, near impossible now. When the sequel to Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland comes out, will you also do a classic review of the first film? Um, I am thinking about reviewing the second movie, but I don't think I'll, like, look back into the first film. Like, uh, like I guess I'll do kind of a combination. I'll mention the first movie in that review, but, um, but I'll definitely do a, a review on the second one. Signed, Hunter O. Laughlin. All right. So anyways, uh, hopefully I've answered your questions, and thank you so much, Hunter. Now, the next one that we got is going to be coming from Nate Spidgewood. So, Dear Animat, hey, it's me again. Do you remember when I sent you the DVD of The Mind's Eye and Beyond the Mind's Eye, and in the birthday episode, you were wondering where they were available in jewel cases or I made them? Well, they, uh, there are official DVDs of them, but I actually burnt the movies on DVD or disc myself. And because I can't find the right DVD cover sleeves on Google, I had to print out jewel cases, covers, and put them on CD jewel cases. Oh, okay, that explains it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the two films, and just for fun, I used something special based on one of the characters in Beyond the Mind's Eye, and hope you express your initial thoughts. I love the film so much since I watched the heck out a lot. I, I watched the heck out of it a lot on VHS when I was a wee kid. Happy 2016, uh, sincerely, Nate Spindwood. Uh, P.S. I have a few questions for you. Uh, what do you think of the upcoming Warner Brothers movie, Storks? Honestly, looking at the teaser trailer, I don't think it's really gonna be anything special. It looks like gonna be your generic kids comedy. Like, maybe it might have some promise with the concept, we'll have to wait and see, but... I don't know, I, I, I don't have a lot of anticipation for that movie. I'm not gonna say that it sucks, but I don't think it's gonna be anything special. Uh, which Xerox era Disney movie is better, Sword in the Stone or Robin Hood? Um, honestly, I might have to go with Robin Hood. Uh, Sword in the Stone, it, like, it has some great characters, but they're not really used to their full potential, and also, like, the story is rather weak, so I'd probably go with Robin Hood. And, uh, finally, Lady and the Tramp, 101 Dalmatians, The Aristocats, or Oliver and Company? Um, I would go with Lady and the Tramp, actually. <laughs> so, anyways, um... We're not done yet with Nate. We also got one more. We got, what the? What is all this? Oh, this is actually a pretty good drawing, I gotta say. Okay, this is actually not bad of a drawing, I must say. This is actually pretty cool. All right. So as you can see, I'm having a nice conversation with one of the characters in Beyond the Mind's Eye. So thank you very much, Nate. This is actually pretty cool. All right. 
Uh, we also got another one right here, and this one is gonna be coming from uh, Kieran Firth Bernard. Hello again, Matt. I hope you like my Battle of the 2013 drawings and my blue tack models. Uh, I hope you didn't squish them. I actually still have them, actually. Uh, I was a bit disappointed that you didn't show the drawing and the models in front of the camera to show everyone, but oh well. I think I kind of forgot. Um, Anyways, at uh, this time, I sent you a drawing of the group I created called Matt's Animated Sinister Six based on the Sinister Six from Spider-Man. Uh, you hated and feared animated characters were voted by the people from the fan club, which I like to give a shout out. Keep it up, Kieran. So let's see what we got. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, the Sinister Six apparently consists of Puppet Glinda, of course Flint, uh, Chester V, we got Grayson from the Nut Job, Labby, and the and the dumb cat from uh, from Ratatouille. Really? Like I don't hate that cat. That cat is the best character in Ratatouille. I swear to God, that tremendous animation, like his walk cycle will be remembered for years to come. Oh my God, that cat that cat was amazing. I don't know how he's like in the mo in the sinister six but anyways uh let's move on to the next one that we got holy crap we got like a buttload of stuff right here so dang okay oh my god we got so many things here and by the way this is coming from uh louis aparicio okay so so we actually got from the peanuts movie we got charlie brown we got Snoopy and Woodstock. Uh, I believe this is Linus. Uh, we got Lucy. And finally we got Sally. I hope I got the names right. Anyways. Um, also we got his little review of the Peanuts movie and what he thinks of it. So take a good look. He se Lewis seems to be very positive about the good dinosaur. Unlike a lot of people. Uh, and also we got... Well, first off, we got, well, oh boy, these are the biggest ones he drew. We got the three T-Rexes, I kind of forgot, well, actually, uh, Butch, Ramsey, and Nash. So, we got those guys. Uh, then we got, we got Arlo and Spot. Finally, we got Thunderclap. Okay, this one is actually really nice. I really like this Hunter Clop, but it actually looks pretty cool. Okay, we got his review of Hotel Transylvania 2, and... Oh boy, he, se he, he seems to hate it more than me. Okay, apparently he really hates Helen Back. So that was a bad movie, and apparently it's good that I skipped that one. Um, well, I didn't do it on purpose. It's that there was no screening. Okay. Dear Animat, finally a letter. It's Lewis again. I went to Disneyland November 8th through November 13th. It was a great trip. Uh, me and my family go every November. Your friend, Lewis. Okay, and we got... Oh, look at this. And we got all the little, all the little characters celebrating Disneyland. Oops. Okay, and I dropped something. And also, uh, Disney's California Adventure. So, this is his list right here. And apparently, we also got this. Oh, ain't that cute? <laughs> we got Pillow Christ celebrating Disneyland. Apparently, one of his gifts is that he went to Disneyland. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Uh, finally, we got. A uh, review of the English dub of Un Galo con Muchos Huevos, or The Excellent Adventure. And apparently, uh, apparently, yeah, it's not really that much. Okay, oh boy, Lewis, my god. I think you tried to play catch up, so thank you very much, Lewis. All right, so finally, the last thing that we got is from Daniel Coffey. So, uh, where's my, where's... Where's the cutter? What you have it? Okay, there we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Twas the mat before Christmas when all through the house. Not a creature was stirring. Not even happy-go-lucky mouse. Get a hint. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. And hope that same methylist soon will be there. Finn. So apparently I'm Santa. I gotten fat and I grew a beard. No mustache included. So... All right, so finally we got this little card, and it feels like a card. And have a fun Christmas. 
Uh, dear Animat Seasons, greetings. I hope you have a lot of fun this year and have a jolly old Christmas. Your Smurfy, your Smurfy fan and friend, Daniel. P.S. I made a Christmas picture and wrote a short poem for you. All right, so thank you very much, Daniel, and I've already read it. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Woof, fudge, ah! Well, that went, okay, that didn't go out well. But anyways, that's pretty much it with all of the letters that I got, so tune in for the next video where I gotta go and open up all the packages. So, I wanna thank everybody who has written me all these great letters, and I hope I answered all your questions. So, until next time, see you later, dudes! Hey guys, thanks for watching. Once again, I would like to thank everyone who participated and sent me letters, packages, and all sorts of stuff for what's in the box. If you would like to send me something and have it appear on the show, then send it to Animat, 3790 St. Charles, P.O. Box 96511, BP Brunswick, at Kirkland, Quebec, H9H3C3. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, see you later, dudes!